In this tutorial, we'll take a look at a basic camera setup to help you get started in navigating around in your scene. So I have a camera here and a simple object. A couple other things I have going on is the plane, a couple of spotlights up in here, and they're casting the shadows because I've set the textures, I mean the shaders, over here. If I switch to Blender Game, one way you do it is you come over here to this Render tab and you come down here and I select GLSL shaders it's a default multi texture and then I'm also set to texture mode here like this alright that way I have these lights naturally in the scene so back in blender render I can also press N to get the properties window and you can also see it down here here's the top down here near the bottom there's my shading GLSL you can set it in here as well like that alright so there's my basic lighting and object in the scene but my camera if I go get another window by coming up here to this little triangle here, hovering my mouse over it, and I left click and I drag it to the left, I open up a new window. And then with my mouse over in this position, if I press zero on the numpad, now I get a camera view. And you can see this little orange border around it tells me this is the active camera. And you can also know this is the active camera because it has this little triangle above it that's shaded solid. Now we're going to point this camera towards that object here in a second. Because right now, if we were to render it, all we would see was this plane here, nothing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, first of all, an empty to the scene. There's a couple ways to do it, but I'm going to add an empty by Shift A, and I'll add an empty with just plain axes. I'm using 2.65A, and there's my empty in the scene like that. And what I want to do is I'm going to use the empty to track the camera's view. So I'll right-click the camera. And then I'll right click the empty by holding down the shift key at the same time. Whoops, missed that, so better do that again. Right click the camera and shift right click the empty. All right, now I have them both. And then instead of parenting them, I'm just going to press Control T. And I'm going to use track to constraint. So then what that does, that points it towards that empty right there. You can see where it's pointing. And now you can see that triangle, that solid triangle as well, like that. And the nice thing about that is now your view is here. And if I go grab the empty in the scene, then within here, if I move the empty, then I'm changing the camera you can see on the other side. Or if I come over here and change, move the camera, I change the view like this. So it's a really convenient way to adjust your view and then also if you want to zoom in and out you know, by default your axes are set to global mode for orientation I just change this to normal for a second and then you notice my vectors are pointed in so I can just zoom straight in and out by grabbing that arrow like that alright so that's a great way to get to orient yourself in the scene and the nice thing about that is you might come over here and start your camera here in a scene and I'll go get a timeline down here and maybe down here at frame one I might use this as a location keyframe and I might say press I for location set a keyframe and then up here at frame 100 maybe move this over here like this and press I and set another keyframe then when I come over here and press alt A you'll notice in this window here my camera's moving along that way. So it's a simple way to move your camera along in the scene. But the key is uh, the active camera is always going to have this solid rectangle. And in the next couple of lessons, I uh, we work with multiple cameras and switching between them and animating and things like that. So that should help get you started in case you're not familiar with moving the camera around. And I'll see you in the next lesson.